You may ask, why do I need the fridge to fend? The following Dometic and Norcold documents confirm the need for boiler protection, which is what the fridge to fend does. Before we get started, one needs to be aware that the fridge to fend is protected by intellectual property laws. Both Dometic and Norcold applied for patents that duplicate the fridge to fend, and they were both rejected. This means that the fridge to fend is the only safety controller that can help prevent premature failure and resulting fire. The following document is produced by Dometic. The essence of the document states that the fridge to fend is a requirement for safety and longevity of your fridge. Dometic says, quote, the whole unit, the refrigerator, operates by the heat applied to the boiler system, and for good operation, it's of paramount importance that this heat is kept within the necessary limits and properly applied. Prevention of premature leaks is a matter of product safety as well as customer satisfaction. The most important parameter has been the boiler temperature that has been monitored regularly. The corrosion rate is increased when the boiler temperature is increased. If the cooling unit is tilted more than a few degrees, the pumping will cease. This will cause a higher boiler temperature that will increase corrosion rate. The life length, in other words, is critical both for customer satisfaction and product safety, unquote. Did you note that Dometic confirms this is of paramount importance to keep the heat within the necessary limits? This is just what the Fridge Defend is designed to do. Thus, the Fridge Defend provides product safety as well as customer satisfaction. Therefore, Dometic is confirming that the fridge to fend is necessary. The image seen on the screen is a corrosion or rust pit viewed with a Leica electron microscope. The microscope confirms that this pit was the cause of the RV refrigerator failure, which in turn resulted in a fire. This image is Mountain Springs Grade on Interstate 8, California. Following, we will show you how the fridge to fin is affected while climbing a 3.5 degree grade. We set up a computer to record the temperature of our RV refrigerator. Simultaneously, we recorded our GPS screen to produce the following curves. The green curve was recorded with the GPS. The green curve shows our elevation as we drove. The elevation started at 215 feet below sea level at the Salton Sea. The computer is recording the temperature reading from the fridge to fend. Blue curve is the refrigerator cabinet temperature. We stopped at the Salton Sea and opened the fridge to get a cold drink. The ambient temperature was over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Thus, you can see as we drove, the fridge temperature went down as the refrigerator cooled. The red curve is the boiler temperature that is discussed in the preceding Dometic document. The Norcold N4150 operator manual states, quote, performance during travel is not usually affected, unquote. The green background shows the normal safe operating temperature of the boiler. Please note that not usually affected applies just for this part of the curve. The red curve fluctuates as we drive, just as the refrigerator user manuals state. But this is not always the case. We will return to this point. Remember, at the beginning of the curve, the ambient temperature was over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. A storm was moving in as we drove, Thus, the ambient temperature dropped to around 80 degrees Fahrenheit by the time we got to Coyote Wells, California. This resulted in a cooling trend for the boiler temperature. From Ocotillo, we start climbing the grade that is up to 3.6 degrees off level. As we climb, the boiler temperature starts to increase rapidly. As Dometic stated, this is because the boiler is not within its necessary limits of operation, Boilers tilted more than a few degrees and the pumping ceased. 
Turning to the blue fridge temperature curve, it's apparent that the boiler overheating stops the production of refrigerant, thus the fridge warms inside. The energy being put into the boiler is now going toward destruction of the fridge rather than the production of the refrigerant. Just as the Dometic patent application states, personal and property damage, further operation of fridge, fires and explosions can occur. Clearly, the boiler needs to be controlled, but there's only one way to control the boiler temperature, that is with the fridge to fend. The fridge to fend by ARP automatically detects the overheat condition and turns off the heat to the boiler once the sense boiler temperature reaches the red zone, thus protecting you and your fridge. If Dometic and Norcold documents and patent applications combined with the demonstration of the fridge to fend protecting our fridge was not convincing, we need to provide you with one further set of facts. The National Fire Protection Agency, NFPA, produces statistics on RV fires. There's an average of 4,160 RV fires per year. It's estimated that $57 million of damage is incurred. This boils down to 12 RV fires per day and 8 deaths per year according to the NFPA. Good Sam Insurance states on their website, quote, We receive hundreds of claims a year due to refrigerator fires caused by malfunctions in the fridge's cooling system. A rig can burn up in minutes as a result of these malfunctions, unquote. There are 15 major RV insurance companies. If each insurance provider has 200 RV fire claims, then 3,000 RV refrigerator fires happen each year. With $57 million of damage due to fires, would it not be wise to invest in a fridge to fend that helps prevent malfunctions in your refrigerator's cooling system? For a small price, the fridge to fend is the proverbial ounce of prevention that in this case gives you a ton of cure. We have used Dometic products for over 60 years. We own a Cervell refrigerator that's 82 years old and it works to this day. Absorption refrigerators are super dependable, given that the boiler is not allowed to overheat. One must take note that off-level operation is but one reason for the boiler to overheat. See our website for more information. Absorption refrigerators are the perfect fridge for an RV because they can run anywhere on LP gas and they have no mechanical parts to wear out. So if you have a Dometic or Norcold fridge, please, for safety's sake, get the fridge to fend.